What's going on YouTube? OG Tyler Building. I'm not gonna do no intro like that. Get straight to the point. Five reasons why you're not making as much as you can as an OTR driver. By the way, this video is intended for younger truck drivers like me that are getting into the industry and just wanna maximize how much they can make. There's probably gonna be older people that's gonna be looking at this video, but I'm gonna just let y'all know who this video is intended for. So let's get into it. Number one. You haven't prepared. All right, so when it comes to pre preparation, I like to, when it comes to preparation, like period across the board for everything and life, not just trucking, I like to say the 5P principle. Proper preparation prevents poor performance. You know what I'm saying? So when you out here, you gotta think about a couple things you gotta prepare for. And sorry if I'm talking a little fast, you, you gotta keep up with me. I, I done down some coffee and I didn't drive that long. So I'm amped up right now. All right, so boom, you gotta prepare for fuel, food, and your lifestyle. Okay, hold on, let me slow down. Yeah, if you haven't prepared, you can't work as efficiently, you can't work efficient. You know, you're gonna be scrambling everywhere, trying to get things in order, and you know, your whole time out on the road is just gonna be a mess because you haven't prepared, you haven't, you haven't mentally organized yourself to come out here and execute and do it exactly what you gotta do. Your job or your career. And I'm gonna lay some, and I'm gonna lay some examples down. Your trips. You want a trip plan, okay? Whether it's plugging it in the GPS, reading a, going old school, reading a road map. I'm 22 years old. I was born in 2002. I don't know how to read a damn road map. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. So I plug that thing into Google Maps. I plug it into the Loves app because that's where I go. That's where I'm at right now. Y'all, y'all can't see it because I'm in the truck. But I plug it into the Loves app, my route, and I plug it into my Garmin. My diesel garment, the GPS I just bought. By the way, very great GPS, even though it's expensive for a seven inch screen like Bob. Anyway, um, yeah, so that's what I do. I plug in my route and I look for fuel stops on the way there. And I kind of guesstimate how much, how much miles I can get out of a full tank. So whether I wake up in the morning and I leave with a half a tank, I know that can probably last me like two, 300 miles with half a tank. So I might look for a fuel stop 300 miles out the way, stop right there, fuel up, and then just continue the rest of, rest of my trip, whether I'm on a thousand mile trip or, you know, whatever. All right, so so food, you know, before I used to get out on the road, like I would do this every week, the day before, the day before or two days before, I head out on the road for like two weeks at a time, not stay out five weeks at a time. I'm OTR now. The day before or two days before, I will go grocery shopping. Got a mini fridge in here. I don't know if y'all can uh, If you watch my videos, you, you've probably seen it. I got a mini fridge in here. I got a microwave. I got an air fryer. I just, I just go out. I go grocery shopping. I used to just buy straight frozen food just for my microwave. But I'm trying to give my microwave a break. I just want to experience a new thing. You know what I'm saying? I just cook some lamb. I just cook some lamb in the truck. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting a little bougie. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but yeah, I just cook some lamb in here. Y'all probably going to see that. I'm going to drop that real or put that in shorts y'all probably gonna see it in a minute so you want to prepare go grocery shopping you know get all your favorite foods stuff that in there stuff and stuff it in the fridge you know you got your little space and cabinets or whatnot you want to do all that just you know take care of yourself that's the biggest thing in here preparation it's part of preparation take care of yourself being prepared to hit the road for as long as you have to or as long as you are doing where we all out here for different purposes all right so enough with the yapping what's the what's the next thing to prepare for lifestyle i'm a youngin you know what i'm saying not saying that just young people like video games but i like video games you know what i'm saying so what i did i bought a tv and i put an xbox in here and i put internet so i got all that stuff in here if i'm not doing videos for y'all i'm on a game with my boys i'm on a game by myself or you know, just handling some type of business. Anyway, enough of the app, that, that's not important. All right, let me let me move on to number two. Before I do that, my mouth is gonna dry it in a bit. Number two, not running recaps correctly or your clock in general. I run recaps. I don't really know how it is. I so let me let me lay this down already. Like I haven't been OTR and doing 34 hour resets like that. I did that one time not unintentionally though my truck broke down and i needed and i needed somebody to bring me a dumping truck to switch out but what i'm getting to is if you're not running your recaps correctly this is crucial to your pockets as a company driver as an otr driver whatever you want to call it so boom you if i'm a, if i'm gonna summarize it and make it short 
it is how much hours you're on the clock per day how much hours you're driving per day how much hours yeah you're on duty basically whenever i'm not driving i'm off duty period you don't want to keep running your clock because you want to save your whole you want to save eight hours a day because you got a 70 hour work week for those who's in the industry already you understand if you if you're not in the industry yet and you made the decision to come out here and you've researched enough you probably know what i'm talking about you have a 70 hour work week until you got to take a 34 hour reset that is a law so boom and in order to keep running every single day me i drive every single day for five weeks it sounds draining i can i'm just a beast you know what i'm, I'm just a beast you know what i'm saying uh <laughs> But in order for me to keep running every single day, just run eight hours a day, you should not make it past that 70 hour limit. And I'm gonna drop another video on how exactly to do that. In this video, that's that's a whole different topic. I'm gonna drop that video for y'all, I promise. I'm gonna do that for y'all. So whenever, you don't wanna go above no more than nine hours a day. If you do, you're running over, you're running under, or no, no less than, I mean, you can run less you don't really want to though you want to maximize how much you're driving per day so you don't you just don't want to go over nine hours per day if you save some hours then you have some some more hours in your piggy bank for other days that you might have to stretch it a little bit more so just don't go over nine hours i get paid by mile so the more i drive the more miles i cover the more is going into my pockets but other other people might get paid by load time equals money that that doesn't apply to everybody in the industry it applies to drivers in the industry you know other parts of life it don't really apply or don't work it's great yeah so you just want to maximize your time and maximize the use of the time that you have on your clock as you have it that's what i'm trying to get to let me go to number three all right number three too much time in a sleeper birth that's kind of just like you know self-explanatory you sleeping too much bro you sleeping on yourself you know what i'm saying like you just get up and get it done there's no magical, no magical explanation for number three right here. Uh, yeah, just get up and get to driving, bro. <laughs> you came, you came in this truck for a reason. And whether it's to change your life, change your family's life, help your family, do whatever you got to do, fund your own business, like you, you came in this truck for a reason. Find the motivation to get up in the morning. Simple as that. I can tell you mine. Mine is to help my family out. I can't stand seeing my mom broke or stressed out so i'm out here grinding and i'm helping my family and i know i'm gonna have a family in the future so i'm grinding that's what i'm grinding for you know what i'm saying i get up every morning and i hand, i stands on the biz i stands on it not staying or not staying on number three for too long number four the times you run this is crucial to me at least if you get longer loads um the times you run definitely do matter you want to ask yourself what time do you want to wake up and start running in the morning if you say eight o'clock in the morning you're cooked i'm sorry you're cooked because why you gotta fight morning traffic you gotta fight afternoon traffic like lunchtime traffic depending on if you gotta pass through a, a artery in the cities or whatnot well i explain arteries like you know the major cities where different interstates come and they merge and then they start spreading out i call those arteries i don't know what y'all call them but um yeah around those around lunch time it's it's cooked in the morning cooked that uh, don't let it be five o'clock oh boy you're, you're 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 definitely cooked you're well done you're yeah well done you played yourself so ask your time what time do you really want to start running to maximize how much you're taking home or at least to get as much work done as efficiently as possible because we all know our job is to deliver what we have fast and efficiently or on time so what can you do to run at the right time me i can run or if i have long loads i just like to i just plan it accordingly i plan it or that kind of goes on to number one you want to plan accordingly prepare accordingly always think a step ahead you get what i'm saying me i like to run nighttime or morning very very early in the morning uh so when i say that i mean like midnight hours that's the times so I, I run it's the best times honestly for any trucker 12 o'clock one o'clock two o'clock three o'clock 
if I wake up, if I take off at four o'clock, I wouldn't be like, eh, I mean, it's all right. But five o'clock, once it hit five o'clock, I don't consider that early no more. Five o'clock, that's probably the latest. Unless I'm really, really, really tired and I stayed up all night on a damn Xbox, which I rarely do. I mean, I did yesterday because I only had to drive three hours today and I can't deliver till Monday. So, um, not that that's important. Uh, the best times, in my opinion, is to drive at 12, 1, 2, 3. Those are the best time to take off and do what you're doing. Because you only got to fight morning traffic. By the time 1 or 2 o'clock comes, you pulling into a truck stop, you shutting down. Like, bro, it's, it's, cake. it's a cakewalk, bro. And plus, it's a different type of feeling. Like, I don't know. I get, like, a different type of pride, I guess you could say. Lord, forgive me. I know you don't like pride. But um, I get, like, a... I, I don't know. I just get, like, a real good feeling working. Knowing that I'm working hard for doing what I'm doing while the rest of the world is asleep. And it's quiet. The rest of the world is real, real quiet. Like, really quiet. If you like peace and quiet, you, you're going to love driving around those times. And I used to have LEDs in this truck. That's, that's not important. Let me uh keep going on what I'm doing. Number five, you're not staying out long enough. I'm going to just keep it real with you. Um, Two weeks. I used to do two weeks. Nah. I wasn't getting consistent cheese like that, bro. I'm going to just be on it. Like, in my first year being in this company and being a driver period as the first year with my cdl i ran two weeks for a while i'll come home bi-weekly and my checks you know well first i'm not getting paid as much as somebody that's been in the industry for 10 years clearly yeah my checks would range between eight eight hundred on the low end nine hundred on the low end and 1300 it would be very very inconsistent you know what i'm saying like it would be junk it would have those it would have all that room in between those two numbers i just named and it would just jump you know what i'm saying like the most stable i'll probably be like around a thousand like if i made a thousand i was okay but now and then i switched I, I decided to turn up you feel me like i was like, all right cool i'm gonna stop playing I'm, I'm out five weeks at I'm out a month at a time month and a week at a time. I'm like, okay, cool The second I made that decision I ain't see a check under 1200 I don't think I've seen a check over 1200 and then the biggest check before it before before I made that decision The biggest check I've seen was fifteen hundred dollars, right? When I made that decision to stay out five weeks at a time the highest check I've seen since then nineteen hundred and twenty one dollars I'm gonna just round that up to two bands, cause you know what I'm saying. I, that's that's just what it is. And I think was that with a bonus? Nah, that that wasn't even with the bonus. I got a bonus the week after that. Yeah, so that was without it. That was just straight miles, straight miles and loads. You know what I'm saying? That's just straight that. First year as a company driver, like bro, you can't beat that. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I would say, and the only reason why I was able to get that amount. Cause I stayed out. I made a decision to stay out five weeks. As soon as I did that, my dispatcher started lining me up to, you know, succeed with the amount of time that I'm willing to sacrifice out on the road. You gotta. That's another thing. You probably gotta communicate. I probably should have added that here too. Now that's probably a bonus. You can say that's a bonus. But hey, um, yeah, communicate with your dispatcher. Let them or ask them about certain routes and you know what can help you make the most that you can. Yeah, so you, you can put that as number six, like whatever. Uh, communicate with your dispatcher. That that's because if, if, if my dispatcher wasn't the way he is, I wouldn't be making nearly as much. I'm, I'm gonna just keep it hundred with you. If he quit this company, I might just go and clear it with him. I'm, I'm gonna be I'm, I'm gonna be for real. But uh, <laughs> but um, but yeah, that's it for the video. Y'all have a good rest of your day, and I'm out here, bro.